You have probably seen this star system many times, but most likely you are not familiar with it. Meanwhile, its story is worthy of the plot of a Hollywood movie. Here are Mizar and Alcor. In order to find them, we need to pay attention to the Ursa Major, also known as the Big Dipper. This is probably the most popular constellation in our sky. Now, let's look at the handle of the Dipper, more specifically, at the middle point. This is Mizar. But where is its neighbor? It is quite challenging to see it at once, so we have to look more closely. Now we see the star on Mizar's back. It's Alcor. It might seem that those are just two stars, which were discussed for a long time, whether they can be considered a system. Imagine the surprise of scientists when they found out that, in fact, it's a sextuple star system. However, first things first. To begin with, let's pay attention to Mizar. It is brighter, and therefore more noticeable. Indeed, Mizar is considered to be the first double star that astronomers observe through a telescope. The distance to it is almost 83 light years, which is relatively short, and that is one reason why we see it so clearly. Though, the main reason is that the star is quite bright. Mizar is a blue-white star, nearly twice as hot as the Sun, with a temperature of about 9000 Kelvin. In terms of luminosity, our Sun is inferior to Mizar by more than 33 times, the mass is about twice as large, and the radius of Mizar is already two and a half times as large. One would think that the values are incredibly huge, but it depends on what to compare them with. Everything is relative, right? Compared with the Sun, undoubtedly, but if we compare with such giants of space as the star R136A1, for example, which is 315 solar mass, then the dimensions of Mizar fade and become quite insignificant. Now let's get acquainted with the great Alcor. It is about one light year closer to us than Mizar. It is a white main sequence star about half a billion years old, and by the way, slightly older than Mizar, which is 370 million years old. The mass of Alcor is almost two solar masses, and its radius is 1.8 the radius of our star. At an estimated temperature of 8200 Kelvin, it is about 14 times brighter than the Sun. The star is spinning very fast, with a predicted speed of 141 miles per second. Both Mizar and Alcor are members of the Ursa Major Moving Cluster, which means they have mutual motion in space. The calculated distance between them is approximately 74,000 astronomical units. Note that 1 a u is the average distance from the Earth to the Sun. Why do we say that everything is approximate? Actually, because our modern technology can't yet do accurate measurements right up to the inch. But things will eventually get better, if you know what I mean. People have been observing this couple for hundreds of years, and it has been famous since time immemorial. By the way, it is the first double star, which was marked and singled out in the sky by our distant ancestors. For the scientists of the Age of Enlightenment, this fact was enough to rank Alcor and Mizar as an unprecedented miracle. But that was just the beginning of the story. As the years passed, the thirst for knowledge gave no rest to the astronomers, interest increased and one day it gave the result. In the 16th century, Benedetto Castelli, one of Galileo's students, observing Mizar, discovered that it was a double star. That's how the scientific world learned about Mizar b. Both luminaries make a complete orbit in 5000 years and are within 380 astronomical units from each other. Amazing, isn't it? Imagine what it was like for astronomers back in the 16th century. Of course, back then there were no such detailed data as age, mass, temperature, etc. Nevertheless, the very fact that astronomers made the incredible discovery of a double star is admirable. A stellar couple never ceased to amaze and kept from earthlings their main secrets that no one even suspected. It was 1889. Gradually, 
new technologies and methods were appearing that allowed a better view of those distant points in the night sky. One day, while studying Mizar A, the astronomer Pickering concluded that the star itself consisted of two luminaries orbiting a common center of mass with a period of 104 days. Later this period was significantly refined and turned out to be only 20 days. Moreover, both stars are almost identical. They have the same age, temperature, and luminosity, just like twins. The only difference is mass, Mizar Ab is slightly heavier than its brother. Both stars are of the same stellar classification, and both have some chemical peculiarities. But their main feature is that they rotate slower than other stellar pairs. They have stronger magnetic fields than other stars of the same stage of stellar evolution. What does it mean? Mizar is now a triple star system. Mizar A, Mizar Ab and Mizar B, or even a quadruple one if we consider Alcor. But then astronomers decided not to abandon such an interesting object for long and in 1908 it was discovered that Mizar B is also a double star, whose components rotate around a common center of masses with a periodicity of 6 months, and their mass is about 1.6 solar masses. And now, instead of three, Mizar presents itself as a system of four stars. Two pairs can be observed separately. Mizar A and Mizar B are visible even with the simplest telescope, while the separation of the pairs themselves into individual components is possible only with the use of more advanced equipment. That is a mind-boggling fact even for us, people of the space age. And what about Alcor? It might seem that we have forgotten about it. At different times it was the subject of many disputes. Some astronomers refused to attribute it to this stellar system. The dispute was as follows. What kind of pair is it optical or physical? If Mizar and Alcor are relatively close to each other, then they are inevitably connected by the forces of mutual attraction, as the Sun is connected with the planets of the solar system. Such double stars are physically related. If they are at a great distance from each other and just happen to be in the same area of the sky, then we must call this pair an optical double. In the same field of view as Mi'ar and Alcor, you can easily find several other stars that complete the picture, as if highlighting the bright pair. Especially noteworthy is the little star located between them. It is the Ludwig star, named by a German astronomer of the 18th century. It is not part of the Mizar and Alcor system, being a perfect example of just an optical double. However, after such amazing discoveries a reasonable question arose, if in the Mizar Alcor system there are not two stars, but as many as five, then is the total mass of the components sufficient to provide the gravitational bound of Mizar with Alcor? And again no one was able to provide an unambiguous answer. Finally, 2009 was a fateful year for the star cluster. That's when a team of astronomers studied both stars, hoping to find exoplanets near them, which would be an amazing discovery. But instead of new worlds, they discovered a companion star to Alcor. Alcor B. It turned out to be a typical red dwarf, very close to its brother. It is so small and dim that it drowns in Alcor's rays. This discovery increased the mass of Alcor by a quarter of the sun's mass, bringing the total mass of the Mizar Alcor system to over nine solar masses. After that, accurate measurements of the velocities and directions of motion of the two luminaries were made, which showed that Mizar and Alcor are gravitationally bound to each other, which proves that we are dealing with a sextuple star system. That's it. All debates, which lasted for more than a century, were over. Sextuple star systems are rare, but are they so unique? Such systems are very few, offhand we can recall the system of Alpha Geminarum, which we know better under the name Castor. The system is created from three levels, two double stars, with a double companion orbiting each of them. Further exploration of our universe may provide us not only with more six-star systems, 
but also with more astounding discoveries. We only need to strive for this and continue our work. Lastly, let's get away from the celestial and talk about something familiar to each person. Everyday life. In addition to all its other virtues, the Alcor refutes the statements of skeptics and pragmatists, who often say that looking at the sky is a useless venture because the stars can help neither in work nor in personal life. Well, our ancestors had reasons not to agree with this idea. The practical, or even domestic, use for the star pair was invented by the Japanese. Those who hadn't seen Alcor were considered senile old men, regardless of their physical condition. In ancient Egypt, those soldiers who could find the unusual phenomenon were enrolled in the elite guard of Pharaoh. And those soldiers of the Arab, Greek, and Roman armies who could discern both stars on the handle of the Space Dipper were immediately appointed archers. Those people knew a lot about science. So if you want to check your eyesight and deprive your oculist of work, look for this star system in the night sky. Don't forget to like this video and check the bell, so you don't miss any new videos on our channel. See you soon.